When you log into OneChurch software, you'll be welcomed with the home page. From the home page, select mobile app. And here are the general settings as it relates to the app. If you look at the top, there are tabs that allow you to first modify the screens, second, modify the menu that's located in the top left of the app. Let's go to the settings. You first need to enable your app and make sure you press the save button. If you're a multi-campus church, you can select how many campuses you want visible. And then here is some general design elements as it relates to the app. You can upload an icon. You can also upload a loading screen page that will be visible when the app is loading. This pre-check-in lets you choose from a QR code, which is a square code or a striped barcode when someone uses the pre-check-in feature on the app. The side navigation that is set to main relates to the menus kept within the app. You can have multiple menus, and so you choose which menu you want people to interact with. And I will show you that when we interact with this menus tab. So when you build your app screens, you'll go into this screen view. Here you see a view of the various templates available within OneChurch software, and they are labeled by which template they are. For example, add screen, list, text with images. This is how a screen that is text with images would look roughly. Remember, you can add your own images, your own icons. And so based upon your design, this would look different. If you add screen and you want to do a list with image banners, that's how this screen would look. These are the various image banners. Now these are just graphics doesn't actually have a rounded view. This is just how it was uploaded when I built the graphics. If I wanted a content screen, go to add screen, and then from the template view, select content. When I do that, it gives me various options here that adding the different sections. But this is generally what a content screen would look like. And then this is tabs that would float along the bottom of your screen or along the top if using an Android device. And I will show you what that looks like in a moment, but the template is called tabbed. You also have templates called forms and URL. And what these will allow you to do is connect to a form that you have built or to send someone to a website. A couple things to note that some of the information that is visible within OneChurch software is based upon information that you have in the groups module, the events module, if we select more, in the sermons module, and in the forms module. So when I said add screen, and you can decide from a form, if you select that, you get to select from forms that you already have built, that you have made public and visible. To find information on how to build these various events, groups, forms, or to upload sermons, you can visit our help page at support.onechurchsoftware.com. We also have various videos that you can access that provides a general overview on how to interact with those sections. Now let's start to build out one of these pages. Let's go into this list image banner first so you can find information on how to build a page that looks like this. So if we select this, you see that I named it list image banner just to let you see what a list image banner would look like. We can decide if this image right here we want to use as a carousel, meaning we have multiple images here that someone can swipe through. Select no. Now within these general layouts, this is the design layout, but if we select this button, this shows where each of these buttons will lead someone when selected. And you can decide from a screen, and that's a screen that you have created, or you can send someone to a URL or to a form that you have built. Let's go back to the design view. And here we can add another banner. And so I can build a banner. It gives me the size that I can build the banner and then I can upload that. Let's use this as an example. Select. And here is a banner that we have uploaded. Now, if I hit the action view, I can decide where I want this banner to lead someone. And I can choose a URL. And I'd have to type in the full URL. 
I can decide if I want it to open up in the browser or if I want it to open up within the app. And then I go up and select design menu and then save to save this destination. I can also choose from a screen that I already have built within the software or I can connect it to a form or it does not need to be linked at all. It can just be an image that is visible that someone cannot interact with. Let's stay within the lists. The other list you have an option to build would be this list grid. This provides a image along the top and then buttons here in a grid view where you can have uh, text and subtext under these buttons. If I wanted to add a grid item, I just select grid item and then I get to choose the graphic that I'd like to use and I can insert that into this spot. So when someone interacts with this view and they select that, they can go to a location that I choose. You have a design view, which you see right here. And then you have an action view that lets you decide where you want individuals to go when they select one of these options. Now this is our content view. So if I go to add new screen and I type in content, I will generate a page similar to the one that you see here that has the welcome logo on it. I can add a section and if I add a section, I can decide if I want to add text, if I want to add a button or if I want to add a form. And so if I want to add some general text, I can select this option and then type in select done that populates the app with text. This also allows me to add a general title to this section. Once again, for this reference, I put, we're glad you're here. So you can add some kind of messaging there. You can also decide whether to include an image slider at the top of the screen. Let's select yes. And then we have the opportunity to put an image within this app page. So if I select this image, then I hit the select button, it will upload this image directly to the app. I can decide if I want a destination or if I just want an image. And I just want an image, so I will say done. And then you see I have this image here. And then I have the option to add more sections. I can add more text or I can add buttons. I can also link someone to a form that I have. I'm gonna have buttons and then I can decide if I want one column or two columns. If you want one column, It'll provide you with a long button across the bottom of the screen. If you say two columns, it'll have two buttons here that go from side to side. If I add these buttons, I can decide how many I'd like to add and then select done. And here I have these list of buttons. Now to decide where these buttons go, I can select in this box and then see you also have a design view. But if you select action view, you can decide the destination um, that someone will go to when they select these buttons. So let's cancel. Now if you build an app and you would like a tabbed section, you can create that by creating, a, adding a screen and choosing from a tabbed section. When you do that, you'll be given an option similar to this, and you can add a tab or not. And this will allow you to put tabs along the bottom of the app or along the top if using an Android device. You can decide what you want to name these. So I'm gonna name this home, and you can decide what icon you want visible in that section. This is the design view, but if you hit the action view, it will highlight what screen is visible when each of those tabs are selected. So if I want the tab on the bottom of my main page, then I would make this main page the home screen. And then on this main, this first tab here from the action view, I would say I want to display a screen and I want to display this list image banner screen so that when you see the app screen, it'll have this screen visible and also the tabs. Finally, let's go to the menus tab. And here you see an option of the menus that will be located at the top left when you open the app. Some things to keep in mind within the app and not visible here in the menu item is a home screen, an inbox, and a people directory. 
Now you decide whether or not you want someone to see a people directory and you decide that within your account settings. Now that is only visible if someone logs into the app because you have the opportunity within the app to change your person profile information but that's only if you have login credentials. Within the menu, you can see that you can add a menu item, and you can also add a header if you don't want it to be clickable, but you want a header to outline the section. You can add a header here, and this will allow you to outline a section. And then you can add items under that section that you created. The Give Now screen is only available if you have One Church Giving enabled. And the pre check in option is connected to events that you have a check in system enabled to allow individuals to check in to that church service, classroom, or event where you allow individuals to check in. Keep in mind that the pre check in are only provides a QR code or a striped barcode that can be scanned when you arrived at the church. It doesn't actually check you into that class. Just for security precautions, it makes it to where. Uh, when someone actually passes through the door, you scan them and then they will actually be checked into the software. The pre-check-in just makes for the check-in process to occur more quickly.